This is one of the many types of root tasks to be discovered. Keep an eye out for many more types and styles of root tasks, which can involve placing, collecting, or fixing a variety of things. Head into the main building, and you'll continue your induction there. You can pause Train Sim World at any point to review objectives and a lot of other information about what's happening at the moment. Try it now, and then return to the game after you... Now that we've covered some of the basics of moving around and interacting with the environment, let's take a walk through the building and... This is Central Square. From here, you can explore the main train... Your journey operating trains is just getting started here in the training center. Remember, you can always come back... This module will cover the on-screen overlay, known as the heads-up display, or HUD, that is shown when you are in control of a train. Climb up the ladder into the locomotive and then sit in the seat. Welcome to the most important seat in the train. While sitting here, you'll be in full control. Before you think about moving the train, though, let's look at the HUD overlay that's appeared on the bottom right. The heads-up display is a guide to what your train is doing. The main part of the HUD is the speed display. A white bar will appear around the outside to show your current speed, and the red mark indicates your maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse, and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power or throttle control is in. These are the brake indicators. The exact ones shown will vary by train and will often be visible in the train itself on various gauges. They tell you what's happening in the braking system. The most important one is the BC or brake cylinder. If that's reading zero, then your brakes are released. Any Anything else? And brakes are applied and you won't be able to move. Every train can have small variations in the HUD unique to the way it works, but they will mostly look the same. As you learn to control new trains, Study the HUD and learn how it helps you operate it. If you want to see this again, you can rerun this training module at any time. This training module, you're going to look at making the train move and then bringing it to a stop again. While many trains have different controls and are operated in different ways, there are basically always three controls that are common and are required to move the train. The reverser sets the direction between forwards and backwards. The brakes are used to slow or stop the train. The throttle controls how fast the train accelerates. Keep the brake control in release until you can see the brake pipe control needles are reading 5 bar, pointing upwards. This will release the brakes fully. Watch the brake cylinder, or BC gauge, to see it gradually reduced to zero, which tells you that the brakes are now fully released and you can move the train.